kwa lazima muwe wanaume wanane utaweza eh. wanaume wanane mimi siwezani na mwanaume mmoja eh. <laughs> jamani hata <yeda ajau. laughs> hajawahi kurudi tena wanasema <laughs> beating them at their own game oh, yes. mm. eh. sasa hayo ndio matatizo ambayo sisi watu tunayapitia hapa mm-hmm. lakini sasa sara tuingie kwako Naam. uko live ndani ya radio milele mm-hmm. na pamoja kwa mpigo tuko live ndani ya K24 TV mm-hmm. mambo trending issues ni gani jamani uh, mm-hmm. wacha tuanzie na story ambayo watu wamekuwa kiongelea sana na niko very curious yes. uh, kusikia will brother atasema nini kuhusu hili mm-hmm. uh, baada ya Joseph Irungu aka Joey mm-hmm. alipohukumiwa uh, kifungu cha kifu um, mwanadada mamitu yes. alienda akafanya video mm. na kwenye comments ya ile video watu wengi hawakufurahia mm. yes. na kitu ambacho alifanya mm. uh, nianze na wewe will brother mm-hmm. ulichukulia je video hiyo na kau liona Eh, video yenyewe niliona mm. kwanza niseme kwamba mamito ni rafiki yangu sana Naam. tena ni msichana ambaye nampenda sana mm-hmm. siza very ni mtu ambaye unafurahi kuwa karibu, karibu na yeye okay yeah. uh, isipokuwa you know hata katika mambo ya comedy Naam. kuna issues zingine zinakuanga sensitive yes. ambayo sana sana kwa muda huo mm-hmm unafaa kuwa unaiachilia kwanza yeah. unaiachilia kwanza okay mm, yeah. pale naweza sema ya kwamba kidogo hii kitu ambayo unaitwa emotional intelligence eh, kidogo eh. ilimpotea yeah. i will i will say it mm, nitaisema mm, kiwazi eh. yeah. kidogo ilimpotea aliteleza, because yeah. aliteleza mm-hmm. mm-hmm. manake joey ni mtu ambaye yuko na familia kweli whether kile kitu alikifanya ama hakukifanya the court found him guilty yeah. na kakamatwa na tuliona familia yake vile lisimama na yeye okay? yes. kwa hivyo ukifikiria ya kwamba mama yake atakuja kuiona ama familia yake then it ina 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 inaumiza kidogo you know right. sasa zingine pia hata kama ni ni, ni wacha nisema hata kama ni comedy yeah. lazima tuweke ubinadam pale ndani Kweli. so it is this topic is still very hot kwa sababu huyu jamaa has been sentenced just the other day yeah. kwa hivyo labda angetuliza kidogo Kweli. ama hata kama ingekuwa ni kitu ambayo alikuwa anataka kufanya around Joey yeah. amsua baada angeifanya na ingekuwa iko sawa ambayo ni kitu ambayo tungefurahia hata Joey mwenyewe angeiangalia akiwa pale jela acheke, eh, mm. acheke. Yes. Um. then because there are so many things ambayo unaweza ku create around Joey ama around hiyo kesi yeah. that inaweza kuwa na aside ambaye hata fa- familia yake ikiangalia wanaweza kucheka waseme hi this is funny. this is funny yeah. you know mm. so hiyo hayo hiyo ndio maoni yangu mm. luchibia hapo mimi sikufurahia kwa sababu unajua unacheza na emotions za mtu mm-hmm. wakati ambapo kila mtu unajua kuna pande mbili pale kuna watu ambao walikuwa wamefurahi ya kwamba Joey amefungwa mm-hmm. amehukumiwa kwenda kunyongwa jela no. na kuna wengine ambao walikuwa pale ambao hawako wamefurahia na uamuzi wa mahakama mm-hmm. alafu mamito naye anakuja na jokes zake yeah. anataka kuleta joke pale hakuwa anaangalia emotions za wa Kenya mm-hmm. sasa zingine timing sasa zingine kujiuliza tu nikirusha ama nikidrop hii kind of joke mm-hmm. itakuwa namna gani yeah. lakini bado akaendelea mm-hmm. hata baada ya hiyo bashing mm-hmm. akaendelea nikikote pale akasema mm-hmm. I'm but a small thin woman with no buttocks and I'm not so attractive how dare I joke about a beautiful accused person mm-hmm. uh, kama Joey. Sasa tena unaangalia ndio akaendelea kuchoma, kuchoma zaidi. zaidi. Mm, mm. Na pia kujidhalilisa manake mm. akiwa anazungumza hivyo. Kuna mtu alim, alimjibu akamwambia yes. even before this you still had small buttocks. <laughs> na hatukuwahi hatukuwahi kukutukana kuhusu ya buttocks. You know wakati mtu anafanya kitu kibaya yes. you know hata kama ni ima kosa moja amefanya. Yes, yes. Mamitu ukweli is a darling to very many people. Yes. Hata mimi si za darling. Eh. Tunampenda sana. Mimi nampenda eh. juu hiyo kiparangoto na eh. hizo lakini now because of hii kitu amefanya unapata sasa watu wanamrusia matusi that is very unnecessary to me mamito is very beautiful mwili wake vile upo unapendeza mimi nimemuona mpaka na bikini wakati tuliposafiri na ye anapendeza sana kwa hivyo naye pia asijidhalilise na maneno ya kusema i'm not very attractive i don't have buttocks usijidhalilise dalilise kama mwanamke the best thing angefanya angekubali tu aseme yenyewe yeah. guys eh, unase, una on up una on up unasema yenyewe guys just a bad day in the office eh, Thank unasema you. guys guys nime, nime fanya makosa mm. naomba msamaha ah, yeah. ndio uh, kwa sababu ya muda acha to move on to our next story ambako uh, tukienda kule Tanzania ndio diamond na harmonize wamejulikana kwa muda mrefu 
kukua na beef. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but hapa juzi kati uh, mama uh, Samia aliwaita pale kwenye ikulu uh, Ramadhani ilipokuwa inaanza na tuliona wamefanya video wakiwa na diamond. Mm-hmm. Uh, sijui ulichukulia aje will brother. Uh, mi nilifurahi sana. No. Mimi nachukulia mziki na entertainment ni kama tu siasa. Yeah. Okay? Utaona tu ni kama Raila na Ruto hawasikizani hawaongei ilali wanafanya hata biashara pamoja. Yeah. Mpaka wanakutana. Mm-hmm. So mimi nina furaia ninapoona hivyo sidhani ya kwamba uadui wao umekuwa ni ule adui ya kwamba ati hata wakikutana mahali ya waongei mm. ni uadui tu wa kimziki ni ile competition na hiyo ndio utamu wa entertainment showbiz. okay eh hiyo ni showbiz tu yeah. mimi hata sahi i hope ya kwamba wataweza kutoa kawimbo cuz i can imagine combination ya harmonize na Madame. they have done it before yeah. na it has been a hit yeah. kwa hivyo natumai ya kwamba wakati huu pia tena mm-hmm. watafanya wafanye collab wengine moja safi Sorry. Eh. Okay. Luchivia. Mkiangalia katika mziki huwa ni beef ya mziki si beef personal. Mm-hmm. Diamond mwenyewe ukimwangalia bado harmonizer na muhusudu kama godfather wa music pale Tanzania. Ukienda kwenye mkono wa harmonize bado kuna tattoo pale ya Diamond. Hajawahi kuitoa, mm-hmm. ana uwezo wa kuja Nairobi, kuna laser technology, aweze kuitoa, aweze kuieres lakini hajawahi kuieres. Kwa nini anajua alikomtoa Diamond? No. Harmonizer anajua umuhimu wa Diamond. Na kukuta na pale ikulu inaonyesha kwamba hakuna beef personal. Mm-hmm. Dili brother anazungumza ni kama tu rival ya radio station ama TV station. Mm-hmm. Haimaanisha kwamba hamwezi kukaa mkazungumza. No. Haimaanisha kwamba ukimpata Raila Odinga na Ruto, no. Raila Odinga na Mdavadi unapata wale jamaa wana, wana kaa pamoja, wana enjoy mvinyo pamoja, wanakula pamoja, mm-hmm. familia zao ni family friends. Kweli. Sasa katika muziki pia ni mambo namna hiyo lakini ikifika katika ile clout ndio inakuwa sasa kuna uadui. Mm-hmm. Lakini huo uadui hauzui. Nenda katika nchi ya DRC Congo Naam. will brother Kofi Olomide na Fali Pupa. Mm. Watu walikuwa nafikiri hata hawezi kusalimiana. Kweli. Lakini bado ni mabeste. Hey. Wanazungumza na hata siku moja watakuja watoe kolabo. Kweli. So mambo huwa namna hiyo katika fani ya mziki. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, Luchivia na Will brother naomba mniruhusu tuchukue mapumziko mafupi pale kwenye TV mm-hmm. but do not touch that dial because we still have a lot lined up for you. We are back in a few. Six o'clock in the morning and my phone calling. Wish you're the one calling me Oh baby, I'm so lonely